I want to take you now back to our top story. That's been the arrest of the ANC MP and chairperson of the Home Affairs Portfolio Committee in Parliament, Bongani Bongo. He was speaking tonight exclusively to ENCA political reporter Samkele Maseko. One of the key takeaways from that interview being his suggestion, or at least the inference that there was a link between the minister and a poisoning that Bongo claims to have suffered. Let's speak now to Private Gordon spokesperson Sam Kokeli, who's joining me by phone to respond to those claims. So, a very good evening to you, Sam Kokeli. I would assume that you were able to watch that full interview with Bongani Bongo. What about it has got you so riled up? Uh, good evening, and uh, thanks for the opportunity uh, to respond to this. I mean, the minister finds uh, the whole uh, statement uh, ridiculous and, and foolish, uh, uh, really. Uh, Mr. Bongo uh, must be uh, hallucinating, and uh, the minister feels that Mr. Bongo should look in the mirror and see exactly what it is that uh, he has done. His uh, statement is just nonsensical, and he might need to get a lawyer uh, to help him prepare a dignified uh, defense. And uh, Dil, uh, would be, what is it exactly that has led to him uh, facing uh, criminal uh, charges? Uh, because the statement has no uh, basis and just a wild uh, and uh, really uh, crazy allegation. I want to read, Sam, for a moment for those who might have missed that interview because we did play some of it. The exact quote from Bongani Bongo speaking about Praveen Gordon is this, and I quote, When I was in Parliament the other day, I met Mr. Praveen Gordon, who told me I'm working with the EFF and the public protector to discredit him, and I will see what happens to me. Afterwards, the poison came. Afterwards, SARS is on my case. Afterwards, there are charges that are coming. So I view this as a ploy to discredit my integrity, discredit my name. That is the exact quote. Was there ever a confrontation between Minister Gordon where he accused him of working together with the EFF and public protector to essentially besmirch him? But Mr. Gordon has no time uh, for such uh, silly games. Uh, he's very busy uh, concerning uh, himself uh, with matters uh, that are very important as uh, cranking up uh, the economy and making sure that our state-owned uh, companies are turned into efficient uh, operation so that they can have a very positive uh, impact uh, on business and the economy uh, broadly. We want to create cost-effective, uh, self-sufficient uh, SOEs and make sure that the crisis at ESCOM or SAA is dealt with us speedily. That is what our concerns are, Mr. Gordon. At the same time, he is very encouraged that uh, the Hawks are now are talking uh, about uh, taking action against the people uh, who were involved uh, in state capture and that people uh, in the Estina dairy farm uh, will face uh, the music. That is very encouraging, and many South Africans will know him for what he is, and many was committed uh, to this uh, country and a former freedom fighter who is once again uh, rolling up his sleeves to make sure that there is an economy that is very inclusive and that I will benefit our future generations. That is what I contend him. I hear you, but why would Bongani Bongo make such bold allegations? What is the history between these two men? What is the minister's understanding of where this apparent animosity comes from? This sounds like somebody who is hallucinating, uh, who is making a ridiculous uh, statement. Somebody would say the man is crazy, wahafa, uh, uh, all manner of uh, adjectives that you could use to understand uh, something uh, of this uh, nature. But I don't want to be totally dismissive about it because this is a serious uh, defamation uh, at the same time. But South Africans know uh, Mr. Pravina Gordon as a man of uh, integrity and a man who would never make uh, such as, as uh, do uh, any uh, such uh, a thing. At the same time, the Hawks have gone through a very difficult uh, period uh, in the past, and now they are rebuilding themselves and are prepared to help uh, South Africa uh, deal uh, with an issue of uh, justice and make sure that our state uh, capturers are brought uh, to book and South Africans uh, get uh, to heal uh, from that uh, very difficult past. South Africans know him for who he is. Quick final question then. The minister is quite clearly quite outraged at these allegations. What will he do to set the record straight? Will he sue? Look, uh, he's busy right now and uh, dealing with far more important things and I'm sure he will find a time uh, to reflect uh, on the issue and decide whether he wants uh, to protect uh, his rights. I mean, he's within his rights to, uh, to sue if he wants to do. But his primary preoccupation is about uh, the economy. We really need to get uh, the SOEs uh, working so that South Africans uh, can uh, benefit and make sure that the economy really does uh, what it needs to do to make sure that our inequality is dealt with and, uh, and poverty. Sam Kogeli, spokesperson for Minister Pravin Gordon, thank you.